Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new here. My name is Emma, I make videos, I post every Sunday at 8 o'clock, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can go down below and do that right now. Also, my Instagram name is in the description box below, so you should go check that out if you're not already following it. So a little background to why I'm filming this particular video right now. Basically, everyone is getting sick. Everyone everywhere. Everyone from my church, everyone from my school, all of my friends outside of school, all my sister's friends, all my brother's friends, everyone is getting sick. So, I just thought I would give you a couple tips of how I'm trying to prevent my sickness and how a couple of my friends are hopefully trying to get better right now. So, the first one is pretty obvious and it's right here in the background. A diffuser! So, if you guys don't know what a diffuser is, basically it's this machine that makes water vapor, I guess is the right word, but you put essential oils in it so that they go all throughout your room, all throughout your house, and you're breathing it in and essential oils are why do I say that word so weird? Essential oils are really good for you for many different reasons like headaches or stress or trying to sleep better, just all sorts of different things. So I've actually noticed a lot of improvement when I started using essential oils. So you know, you can have a diffuser like what I have or you can just put it straight on your skin. But there's some that you shouldn't put on your skin, you just have to read the label on what it says to do with that particular oil. Okay, so the next one kind of also goes along with the essential oils type thing. So maybe you've heard that if you are inhaling steam that can clear out your gunk or whatever you've got inside you right now, do that. But so what you can do is pull up a chair to your sink in your bathroom, uh, plug the little stopper thing in the sink, fill it up with some hot water, put a few essential oil drops in there, not too much because you don't want to hurt your face, your nose, <laughs> and then put a towel over your head or a blanket or whatever and just breathe in that steam for a few minutes and you will feel so much better, I promise. This is something that I have done for ever. So if you don't want to invest in a diffuser, like I already had this one because it was my mom's, but anyway, so if you don't want to invest in that, you can just do that quick, easy, steam, rejuvenate, feel better, good. <laughs> And also, if you're not that extra and you don't want to have to get out a chair or a blanket or anything, just get in the shower, just breathe in that steam is basically the whole point of it. Also, I don't know what I keep doing with my face, but it's fine, whatever. Okay, so this next one might sound sort of stupid to some people, but I can't stress it enough. Wash your hands. <laughs> okay, I know it sounds like, well duh Emma, we know to wash our hands. No, some people are just so stupid and they don't do it or they just aren't doing it enough especially at this time of the year with everyone coughing everyone sneezing everyone touching everything no matter what you do just wash your hands if you're gonna eat wash your hands if you're gonna walk past a sink wash your hands I don't care just wash your hands because people that's how you prevent sickness just please just that that one I just had to put that out there okay Going along with something that people should probably know already, just around this time, be more conscious of what you're doing with your hands. Just don't touch your face is basically what I'm saying. Touching everyone's stuff, touching your stuff. Don't touch people's stuff. <laughs> you're touching people's hands, pens, papers, books, anything, and then you're scratching your face or something. That's how you get sick. So if you realize that you're getting sick or that you feel kind of not the best, Here's, this is going to be kind of a hard one for some people. Stop using lipstick. Just stop right now. Because if you have germs, nasty grossness in you, and you're putting that all over your lipstick, then when you initially, or when you eventually get better and you start using that lipstick again, you could get sick again. So just stop using your lipstick altogether. And then if you have like cheaper chapsticks or whatever, throw them away. Just get rid of them straight up. Scrap that one. Get yourself a new one. Use that one while you're sick. Throw that one away once you're better, get a new one. Do like $1 chapsticks, Target. Easy. Done. Pro tip. Okay, so the next one is something that I personally do and I know that it helps me if I have a sore throat or something. So tea, can be any sort of tea, with lemon or honey. And if you're not a big tea drinker, then just warm up some water and put some honey in it. I mean, that's what I did today. Old Thomas Jefferson mug. It's actually not even mine, it's my dad's. But anyway, yeah, I just wasn't in a tea mood, but my throat was kind of sore. So I was like, well, let's just heat up some water and put some honey in it. It can help you feel better. Promise. I do it. Okay, so before you get sick, or I guess when you're sick, you can do this too. But you should work out. That's going for a run, lifting some weights, I guess. I don't know, just do some sort of physical exercise 
because when your blood is flowing, your immune system can easily find sickness better and then take care of that before it spreads throughout the rest of your body. That's actually scientifically proven. Look it up. So that will be it for this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you end up trying any of these things, please be sure to DM me or send me a picture or something like that because I want to know how you guys are feeling, if you're sick or if these helped you, anything like that. And I will see you guys next Sunday at 8 o'clock. Bye. Boom. That was legit perfect timing. That thing just shut off right as I said bye. That was crazy. Okay, bye.